What organization are you guys with? New Life. What is the, where does the money go? We feed clothing and help needy families, ma'am. It's a story that sounded all too familiar, probably because we already heard it last year. It's the New Life Christian Ministries, ma'am. These groups of solicitors claim to be members of New Life Christian Ministries. Where's New Life based out of? Why? Because I'd like to know if it's a real organization it's or if you're taking these people's money. Go online. Go online. You'll see newlife.org. So we did. Newlife.org. That's a church in Massachusetts. I'm just trying to find out if you're in any way affiliated with solicitors who would be collecting money down here in Fort Myers, Florida. Nope. We also check newlifechristianchurch.org. And that's a church in New Hampshire. And you do not have anyone from your church who would be collecting money here in Florida. Neither church knew a thing about these Fort Myers solicitors who were supposedly collecting money on their behalf. But Fort Myers Police Captain Jay Rodriguez knew exactly who we were talking about. This particular group, we've dealt with them before. Um, you know, they just, it's, it's an opportunity thing. They're there for a couple hours or until somebody calls the police and then they, they, they leave. In Fort Myers, panhandling is illegal. And in Lee County, any charity asking for donations at an intersection is required to have a permit. Our sign says homeless and hungry. Fort Myers panhandler Tim Gilligan is familiar with the law. It's my last option and it's against the law. You take me to jail, if I go to jail, at least I have shelter. And he's familiar with the phony nonprofits. They lie and they do whatever they th they do whatever they have to do to manipulate the public to get their money. And and that's what hurts us, the people that are actually out here trying to get food and 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 get shelter. So if you want to give back, who should you give to? Give to those causes that you know and that you care about. James Weininger runs Fort Myers nonprofit Hope Clubhouse. And he encourages people to give locally and to give directly to the agencies they want to support. You don't know who's legitimate, so it's important to, to do some background and to know where those dollars are going. Important advice. Can you tell me who runs this organization? I do, ma'am. So your money doesn't end up going to fakers. You run the organization. Yes, what is your first and last name? You don't need to know that, ma'am. Looking for a quick buck. Now, I'm sure you've seen firefighters collecting donations for their Fill the Boot campaign, so you might be asking, are they breaking the law too? No. While people cannot solicit in Fort Myers, they can solicit in Lee County if they follow county rules. That includes getting a permit, wearing a safety vest, and setting up warning signs 500 feet in advance of where they'll be soliciting. For the NBC2 Investigators tonight, I'm Rachel Polanski. Viewers started messaging the NBC2 Facebook page yesterday, telling us they saw the same group of solicitors asking for money here at this intersection in North Naples. So I called the Collier County Sheriff's Office, and sure enough, a deputy was called here to this exact location yesterday afternoon. Same buckets, same story, same guys, different county. Being that we're so close to the Lee County border, it kind of makes sense. Michelle Tracy works in North Naples, and she spotted the same group of solicitors using the same made-up story four times this past week. You know, just kind of shaking the bucket. You know, you, do you want to help? You don't want to help the families. We need the help. Do you want to help? And I just kind of locked the door. I was a little freaked out by it. Tracy thought the men seemed aggressive, but she didn't think too much of it until she watched our report. What organization are you with? New Life. What is the, where does the money go? We feed clothing and help needy families, ma'am. I was like, those are the same people, and it was just kind of mind-blowing. The men claim to be members of New Life Christian Ministries. Didn't Can you know. tell me who runs this organization? I do, ma'am. But the more questions we asked, the less answers we got. You run the organization. Yes, what is your first and last name? You don't need to know that, ma'am. And it didn't take us long to find out that the fundraisers were phonies, with no affiliation to any nonprofits. To find out that they're not is a little scary. <laughs> and Michelle Tracy is not the only one who spotted these solicitors in North Naples. Someone else called Collier County Sheriff's Office yesterday afternoon to report three men asking drivers for money. A deputy came out to the intersection, but he did not write up a report. It's off-putting. Makes you second guess it, because there's a lot of good people out there that do need help, and now you're you're not, you're not sure. And in Collier County, soliciting is not allowed unless you have proper authorization or a permit, neither of which these solicitors have. Now, if you spot these guys in Lee or Collier County, I want to know about it. So email me at investigators at NBC-2.com. Reporting in Naples for the NBC2 Investigators, I'm Rachel Polanski. When we pulled up, Lee County Sheriff's deputies were already there. We're with NBC2. We've been doing so many stories on the panhandlers posing as nonprofits. And so were these two men. Excuse me? Can you tell me what happened? Who didn't want to talk with me? Who are you with? LTSO would not confirm if these guys were claiming to be with New Life Christian Ministries. So we compared our previous stories, and we found they were carrying the same vests, had the same buckets, and were asking for money at the same intersection where we talked with this man a few weeks ago. 
busted. The NBC2 investigators were there as Fort Myers police took into custody panhandlers posing as members of a nonprofit. It's a story the NBC2 investigators have been following for months. Phony fundraisers claiming to be with New Life Christian Ministries asking for money at busy intersections in Lee and Collier counties. This time, they were at US-41 and Boy Scout Drive. That's where NBC2 investigator Rachel Polanski is live with the exclusive details. These guys are bold. Last night, we were here as Lee County Sheriff's deputies questioned them and then let them go. This morning, they came back here to the exact same spot. The Fort Myers police said enough is enough. Same buckets, same vests, same story. Who are you guys with? It's the New Life Christian Ministries, man. The NBC2 investigators have caught them over and over again. Where does the money go? We feed clothing and help needy families, ma'am. Solicitors, pulling on your heartstrings, claiming to be members of New Life Christian Ministries. They Can know. you tell me who runs this organization? I do, ma'am. But when we ask them any questions about who they are... You run the organization. Yes, what is your first and last name? You don't need to know that, ma'am. They don't have the answers. But they got rude and they walked away from you. And as soon as they did that, I knew, boom, they're not legit. Fort Myers' mom, Joanna Cheneau, has also seen them asking for money at busy intersections. But it wasn't until she watched our stories that she realized they were phonies. It made me think twice about giving money to people who are raising money. So we reported these phony fundraisers to police because in both Lee and Collier counties, soliciting is not allowed unless the solicitor has a permit. And earlier today, the Fort Myers police took action. There was no resistance and basically they surrendered and said we're sorry but it has happened so many times our officers decided okay this time we're taking you into custody did our reporting help bring this issue to the forefront yes actually your reporting helped point out to the fact to many people that this is not a nonprofit, and it's a message that uh, for several years the police department has been trying to get out a message that joanna chanel wants the panhandlers to remember they should be arrested because they're making it hard for people who are actually out there trying to raise money and trying to do the right thing you're not going to believe this, but just a few minutes before news time, a Collier County viewer sent me these photos. Take a look now. This is at US 41 in Immokalee Road. She says she saw another two panhandlers wearing the same vests, carrying the same buckets that says New Life Christian Ministries. Now, we are not stopping here. If you see these guys, we want to know about it. So give us a call and call your local police or local sheriff's department. Reporting live tonight, I'm Rachel Polanski, NBC2 Investigators.